Hey everyone, welcome to Wikcode, where in this video I'm going to show you how to handle errors with Express. So, Express error handling refers to how Express catches errors in route handlers and also middleware. Express actually has built-in error handling for both synchronous and asynchronous errors. So for example, if we throw an error synchronously inside this middleware here, it won't actually crash the program. So if we start it, npm start, and we access this route, we will get the error logged to the console, but the program still works. So if we curl again, it logs the error again and nothing crashed. To make this even clearer, let's have another middleware here where we can access. So first, if we curl to this route and throw an error, oops, if we throw in this route, we get an error, which is logged to the console. And now if we curl dash working, I forgot to add a dash here. If we curl dash working, everything works, even after we get an error. So we can see how Throwing an error inside Express doesn't crash the program. And this is because Express has default error handling middleware that sends the error back to the client and also logs it to the server console. However, asynchronous errors are handled slightly differently. So to make this asynchronous, if we just add an async keyword here, and now we access this route, we can see that the application has crashed. And so this is because to have Express handle asynchronous errors, we need to use the Express next function. And also just real quick, in Express version 5, we're using 4 right now. I'm not sure when 5 will be released, but in Express version 5, this will be handled just like synchronous errors. But because we're using Express version 4, we have to use this next function. And the Express next function passes control to the succeeding or next middleware. So for example, if we call next here, let's make this an array of middlewares. Let's do rec res here. So we have a second middleware called next middleware. Let's comment this out for now. If we access this, this next function here will call the next middleware in line. However, if we pass an argument to this next middleware or this next function, then it will pass control to the next error handling middleware. So to do this, let's set up a try catch. And then inside the catch statement, we'll just pass the error as an argument. And in here, let's just throw an error, remove this. And now if we curl to this, to this root, what we get is not this next middleware, but instead it hits the error handling middleware. So we can see the error logged to the console and the error is returned to the user or the client. So what this really means is if we don't have any custom error middleware, then the default error middleware will be hit when we pass an error to this next function. Specifically, if anything is past this next function, then Express will treat it as an error. And as a result, call any error handling middleware and skipping any non-error handling middleware which is why this middleware was skipped because it's non error handling middleware. But as a demonstration, we can just say next, pass in cheese, and Express will see this as an error and contact the Express error middleware. So let's do this. And what we get is the error printed the console, which in this case is just cheese. And once again, we can see this middleware was skipped. And what we get back is an error in the client. And if we don't pass anything, so we have this as empty, then it will call next middleware here and return the response. So we've seen that the default Express error handling middleware runs at the end of the middleware function stack, sends an error back to the client like this, and also logs the stack trace to the console, which if it, we're just passing in the string cheese, it'll just say cheese, but if it's an actual error, then we will get the error listed out like this with the stack trace. However, if we want to do something else with the error, we can create our own custom error handler. And if we want to make custom error handling middleware, and then we need to make middleware that accepts four arguments. So let me get rid of this. Let me create an app.use. And the four arguments are the error, the request, the response, and the next function. So it is important for, this, for the function to have these four arguments for it to be error handling middleware. And from this error handling middleware, we can still contact the default error handling middleware if we call next and pass it the error. So say we do a curl here, we get an error in response, and then we can see it passes through this and goes to the default error handling middleware, which just logs the error. However, if we don't call next inside our custom error handler, then we need to send a response back to the client. So we can do response.status, internal server error, and send something like this. Now, if we contact this error route, we get in response, whoops, and a 500 code, which comes from this error handler. And so if we don't respond to the client, then the request will hang indefinitely. So if we don't actually respond here and we get an error, 
we can see that we're waiting for a response and we're just not receiving one and eventually we'll time out. And then another note is express error handling middleware should be placed at the end of the middleware stack. So we see we have this at the very end. It shouldn't be at the front here. And now one final thing I want to talk about with error handling middleware is something useful that the default error handling middleware does is close the connection and fail the request if a response has already been sent back to the client. So say we do next here, but then we, we do response 200 and send hello back like this. Let's contact our default error handling middleware by using next error. Now if we contact localhost, we get response hello. However, if we don't forward this here, and instead we send back a response in our error handling middleware like this, we will get an error because the headers, the, the HTTP headers have already been sent, which basically means we're sending a response here and then another one here. Of course, we could do something like return at next so we don't call this, but what's, what's something that's even better that we can do is we can check if the headers have already been sent by using the method if response.headers sent, then we can just forward the error to the default handling middleware and do a return here, or we could do an else here instead, but have a return. So if a response has already been sent, then use the default handling middleware, whereas if not, send a status 500, and this should work too. So this actually isn't working, but the reason it's not is because we're calling next, which triggers our error handling middleware before we're actually sending a response. So we had this here, let me run this, then we would see, because a response has been sent back already saying hello, then we're just gonna use the default error handling middleware, which can close the connection and fail the request, as opposed to sending another response, which basically violates the HTTP protocol, as we can only have one response per request. But so this is my video on the Express error handling middleware. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try and get back to you. But besides that, thank you for watching, and have a good one.